Hey everybody, how you all doing? Peter Carvel here and today I'm going to show you the perfect home workout for beginners. So let's get started by looking at the workout structure before I take you through this complete follow along 50 minute workout. Today you're going to do a full body variable intensity interval training body weight workout and it has three phases. The first five minute phase is a weight training phase and you have five body weight weight training exercises. You're going to take the first exercise and do as many reps as you can for 50 seconds. Then rest 10 seconds and do that for all five exercises. Then we're going to move into the second five minute phase which is a high intensity interval training cardio phase. You have five cardio exercises. You're going to do them Tabata style for two rounds before you move into the final five minute phase which is a 360 core workout where you'll be doing five core exercises each one for 30 seconds times two which will bring you to the end of this workout so if you're ready let me now take you through this complete 15 minute follow along workout don't forget if you enjoyed today's workout and you want over 100 more powerful and effective home workouts then you can come and grab my brand new big book of home workouts 100 free at sixpackfactory.com forward slash big book okay so let's get started with this workout we're going to start with 50 seconds of push-ups so let's get onto the floor Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. 50 seconds. Proper form, proper technique. Squeeze your butt, contract your quads, and contract your core to make a nice straight line from the top of your head all the way to your heels. No slouching of your lower back. Elbows at a 45 degree angle, and then full range of movement, up and down. Remember, you do as many as you can in 50 seconds. That means if you have to take pauses and rest, that's fine, you just continue when you are ready. And if you need to drop down to your knees to do knee push-ups, that's perfect as well, no problem. Okay, 10 seconds to go, keep pushing. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax, 10 second break. And then we're going to move on to the second weight training exercise and we're going to do forward lunges to hit the lower body. Let's get into position. And then 50 seconds. Let's go. Once again, proper form, proper technique, a nice big step forward and then you go down. Don't fall forward with your upper body. Remember, if this is too easy for you, you can just add some dumbbells and turn this workout into a sort of intermediate advanced workout. So it really is a great workout for anybody who's getting started with home workouts. 20 seconds to go. Ten seconds, keep pushing. As you get tired, focus even more on your technique and proper form. Three, two, one and relax 10 second break if you need longer break you can take that we're going to move on to our third weight training exercise which is going to hit our shoulders and we're going to do pike press let's go 50 seconds if this is too tough for you you can and you have some dumbbells you can also just do some shoulder presses with your dumbbells that's fine as well 40 seconds once again proper technique elbows turned in doesn't flare out to the side and you'll see I move into a straight line forward and backwards. Remember, if you need a break, you can do that. 20 seconds to go. Your goal is just to do as many reps as you can in 50 seconds. So if you can only start off with five reps, that's fine. Every time you do this workout, you can improve and do better and better. Almost there. Five, four, three, to one well done only two more weight training exercises to do next we're going to move to reverse lunges hitting the lower body again so you can get into position three two one let's go once again a step back and down back and down as you go down don't fall forward with your upper body 40 seconds Once again, if it's too easy, you can use some dumbbells. Only one more weight training exercise after this before we go into the high intensity interval training cardio section. Keep pushing.
10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax, 10 second break. And then we're gonna do the final weight training exercise and we're gonna do close grip push-ups. Let's get back down onto the floor. Three, two, one, let's go. So your hands are a little bit further down your upper body and much closer than a normal push-up. Once again, if this gets too much for you, you can just drop down to your knees and do knee close grip push-ups. Thirty seconds. Keep pushing. Remember, if you can't go to full fifty seconds, that is fine. When I started my body transformation, I could only do five push-ups. Three of those were normal push-ups, and then two knee push-ups. So you start at your own level, and that's why we're working with time here, so that you can progress with these workouts and do it more and more each time you do this workout over fifty seconds. Okay, almost there. Five, four, three, two. One, that's phase one all done. Now we're gonna move into the high intensity interval training cardio phase. And we are going to start with jumping jacks and you're gonna do it for 20 seconds. Ready? Let's go. As fast as you can. Ten seconds, keep pushing. This is now where we're gonna take your heart rate up to the next level. So I want you to really push hard for the next five minutes. Three, two, one, 10 second break. And then we're gonna do line jumps. So you just imagine there's a line in front of you and you jumping over it side to side. Three, two, one, 20 seconds, let's go. Remember if there's any of these cardio exercises that you don't like or you can't do it because of injury or anything, you just go back to one that you can do. I always just like to go back to jumping jacks if there's any cardio exercise I don't like doing. Three two, one, 10 second break, and then we're gonna do side to side skiers. Let's get into position. Three, two, one, let's go. Once again, if there's any exercise you can't do here, for example, like this one, you have ankle problems or it's too hard for you, you just go back to doing jumping jacks for that specific exercise, nothing wrong with that. Five, four, Three, two, one, 10 second break. And then we're gonna move on to the last two cardio exercises. The first one is gonna be high knees or sprinting. You ready? Three, two, one, let's go as fast as you can. Swing those arms, lift those knees as high as you can. Push it, 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. And then we're gonna finish off with the most hated <laughs> or loved cardio exercise of all time, burpees. Let's get into position. Three, two, one, let's go. We're going all the way down, you do a push up and then you jump up. When you go down, keep your core nice and tight. You don't want your lower back to slouch and so injure yourself. Keep going, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. So that's one round all done. We're gonna do one more round with those five exercises. And right now we're halfway through this workout. So well done. We're gonna get going again with jumping jacks for 20 seconds. Ready? Let's go. Push as fast as you can. 10 seconds, keep going. You know these exercises now, so now you can just focus on pushing as hard as you can. Five, four, Three, two, one, 10 second break. If you need more recovery, take more recovery at any stage. Have a sip of water, wipe yourself down, but we're gonna continue onto the next cardio exercise, line jumps. Three, two, one, let's go. 15 seconds. 10 seconds, keep going. Five, four, Three, two, one, and relax. 10 second break, and then we're moving on to side to side skiers. Let's go, 20 seconds. This is a great, big, functional, and dynamic cardio exercise. 
But if you can't do it, you just do jumping jacks. Nothing wrong with that. Still gonna get great results. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Two more exercises in this high intensity interval training cardio phase. And then we're moving on to the core phase. So, high knees, three, two, one, let's go. Keep pushing, go on, swing those arms. When you get tired, just swing your arms. Your knees and your legs will have to follow. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. And then we're finishing off with burpees. Get yourself into position. Three, two, one, let's go. 20 seconds. The last cardio exercise, give me everything you've got. 15 seconds. 10 seconds, remember it's not about how fast you go, it's about doing the exercise with proper form as fast as you can and feel comfortable with. Three, two, one, and relax guys. That's the second phase done. Now we're gonna move into the core phase and we're gonna start with 30 seconds of plank. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Tuck your tailbone in, contract your core, obviously. Contract your quads and then just keep your whole body in a nice straight line without slouching your lower back. 15 seconds to go. 10 seconds to go. If you need to rest, you can just drop down to your knees whenever you want to. Three, two, one. We're gonna move straight into 30 seconds on your left side for side plank. Let's go. You can also stagger your feet in front of each other if your balance isn't good enough to keep them on top of each other like I'm doing here. 15 seconds. Don't slouch your body, keep it nice and tight. Five, four, three, two, one. Moving into reverse plank or straight leg bridge. Let's go. Once again, you can see the front of my body, it's one straight line all the way from my chest, all the way down to my ankles. Contract your butt, your lower back, squeeze your hamstrings and your heels into the floor. 10 seconds, keep going. Three, two, one, we're gonna move on to the right side. Side plank again, try and make these transitions as fast as possible. But if you do need more rest at any stage, you can take it, no problem. 20 seconds to go. Once again, you can see a straight line all the way from my armpit, all the way to my ankles on the bottom side of my body. That's what you want, no slouching. Five, four, three, two, one, and we're gonna finish off with a nice dynamic core exercise called walking plank. So, you simply go down to one side and walk it back up the other side. Down, down, up, up. Keep going, 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, that's one round down, and we're just gonna move straight into the final round with 30 seconds of normal plank again. Just keep it there, your core, your abs will be burning by now, so if you need more rest and you need to take a break, that's fine. Pause the video and continue when you're ready again, but otherwise, keep it there nice and tight. Don't slouch, don't injure yourself. We're almost there, 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, and now we're moving on to the side plank. Only four exercises to the end of this workout, guys. You're doing great, keep pushing. Keep breathing as well. Don't hold your breath when you hold these positions. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Don't slouch. Five, four, three, two, one, into reverse plank.
squeeze your butt, squeeze your lower back, squeeze your hamstrings, dig your heels into the floor. 20 seconds. Ten seconds, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. We're moving on to the other side of your side plank. Let's go. Only two more exercises, guys, and we're all done. Keep pushing, keep staying focused. Don't slouch. 10 seconds, almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. And we're gonna finish off with walking plank and this is your last exercise, so stay focused. We're almost there, 30 seconds to the end of this workout. You've done well so far. Let's finish it off on a high. 20 seconds. 15 seconds. 10 seconds, almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. That's the workout all done. Congratulations, you did really well. So there you go, guys. A lot of fun. Very simple, but extremely effective, especially for beginners who's just starting out because you're hitting your full body. You're doing weight training, you're doing cardio training, you're doing core training. And that's why I call it the perfect home workout for beginners. And once again, if you enjoyed this workout, please like, comment, and subscribe and switch on your notifications so that you can see whenever we upload new follow along home workouts every single week. Until next time, guys, stay safe out there and stay active. Bye bye.